This is a transaxle output shaft, and I want to point out the polished bearing surfaces where bearings would ride. It has one fixed helical gear at the end that's part of the shaft so it never comes off. This is a needle bearing right here and this is designed to go down over the shaft and sit on one of your polished bearing surfaces. Then the helical gear would be able to slide onto that shaft and over the bearing and rotate freely on the shaft. This is how we support the gears that ride on bearings. These splines will be either for a synchronizer hub, which I have right here, or they could be for gears that are splined to this shaft for removal and disassembly. Now this is a synchronizer hub and this would slide down over the shaft and it fits right on to these splines. Now this is what they call an interference fit which means the splines are slightly larger by a few thousandths of an inch than the inside diameter of this hub. That way it's going to take a little bit of force to push this on. Once it is pushed on, there's a groove right here for a snap ring to hold it in place. The holes in the shaft where the bearing surfaces are, are for lubrication. That way, oil can work its way from the center of the shaft to those bearings. This is an input shaft to a transaxle. These three gears here are part of this input shaft and they were built onto it so they don't come off. This gear right here, my spur gear, is for reverse. These two helical gears are for speed gears, first and second. This helical gear is a free spinning gear that rides on a bearing on the shaft. Now it's kept from moving back and forth only a small amount of movement that takes place. That's what we call our thrust movement or our axial movement. And that is purposely designed into this to give room for heat expansion and lubrication. This is held in place by this component right here, which is a synchronizer hub. Now this is pressed onto the shaft with a slight interference fit, but it's also held in place by a snap ring, which sits right into a groove right over here. The snap ring and interference fit helps to keep this gear in position. During service, this gear will move back and forth slightly but we need to keep that movement to a minimum.